Okay, so we've loaded up our new graph file. And of course, we start out with this big mess of nodes. So we're going to turn on our black background, which just makes it look super cool. We're going to use the Force Atlas layout again and set it the uh, repulsion strength to 2000 and give it a run. And we see it starting to rearrange itself. And we're going to use node partitioning again. So remember, we use the node type as a means to partition this graph. We have nouns, proper nouns, and video. So let's apply those now. So now, of course, our graph looks a little prettier, which is awesome. We can stop the layout at this point. And we're going to take a look at ranking the nodes. So we're going to choose degree, which means the number of connections, and click the little jewel and hit apply, which is going to make the nodes that are most connected larger than the nodes around it. And again, we can use the partitioning colors as a guide so we know what nodes we're looking at. In this case, proper nouns are really interesting to us when we're playing her story. So we'll turn on node labels and scale them down a little bit as you can see me sliding it down. And let's zoom in on that big red node. Aha, that is not surprising that Simon is in fact a very well-connected proper noun in this graph. And we know that by playing the game, of course, because he's the victim. Here we have a garbage character. It must show up a lot uh, throughout. So this is probably just an encoding from the game file that I didn't handle properly. We can pretty much ignore it. Let's try another red node. And we see Hannah, who, of course, we also know is a, uh, a major part of the story. So now the other thing, of course, is that you can do is you can actually zoom into a video which are in green, and we can see the associated keywords that are attached to that video. So we could actually go and do searches for those keywords like nothing, bed, park, and see if we can actually pull up that video that's ID'd with 416. Hope you enjoyed.